What's up? This is Dr. Taylor Crick at the Washington Wellness Center, and I want to share just a quick study that I think that some of you will love. So if you don't know, uh, on our YouTube channel, we've had some videos about some uh, ways to stimulate the vagus nerve uh, on the ear. So if you're not familiar, go and check those videos out, but they're really, they're popular, and we get, you know, questions from all over the country, and I think uh, uh, internationally, about how to do this vagus nerve stimulation. So I want to share a quick study with you today that just came out, and it's called Treatment of Stage 3 COVID-19 with Transcutaneous Auricular Vagus Nerve Stimulation Drastically Reduces Interleukin-6 Blood Levels, a report on two cases, published in 2020 in the journal Neuromodulation. Um, and yeah, just, you know, interesting. So first off, a little background on the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is a, a major part of your parasympathetic nervous system. It's anti-inflammatory. It's your, 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 uh, the opposite of your stress response is the parasympathetic. It's more like the brake pedal on stress. And stimulating the vagus nerve and improved vagal tone is associated with decreased stress and better sleep and all kinds of metrics and parameters, even, even emotions like empathy. We have some other videos showing, you know, some studies of, you know, some of the results, uh, um, that were done after using this for a couple weeks or four weeks. We have another video showing some of the studies in anxiety and depression and just really, really cool. So today's is about COVID, everybody's favorite topic. Now, first off, let me tell you, I do not think that uh, stimulating your vagus nerve on your ear is going to fix COVID. Uh, so if that's the takeaway that you take from this, um, you know, don't please. So this is just interesting. It's new research. It's new science. And that's how science happens. And with the vagus stuff, you know, first I heard about it. I was like, oh, okay, you can stimulate the vagus nerve uh, through the ear using a TENS unit. Then I started reading the research. The research on vagus stimulation is fascinating. Okay, so this is not proving by any means that, that you know, this is going to heal COVID or fix COVID, but it's just an interesting study. So let's look at this. The novel coronavirus disease progresses in four stages, and it goes through those. It says Stotts et al. reported on two patients who showed marked improvements of clinical symptoms after application of transcutaneous cervical vagus nerve stimulation. But the authors didn't report on any of their lab values. And then another author, Jin, reported clinical evidence that another form of auricular vagus nerve stimulation may inhibit the production of some of these things called TNF-alpha, interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-6, and IL-8, among others. These, you guys, these are the cytokines that we've been hearing about, the cytokine storm. And interleukin-6 is one of those major, major cytokines. Interleukin-6 is gonna drive more of a TH17, tissue damaging inflammation. So yeah, um, we reported on two patients with stage three COVID-19 in whom interleukin-6 levels were markedly elevated, in whom we did vagus nerve stimulation and their, their blood levels were drastically reduced over a short period of time. So they're just reporting on these cases. Now, when you read this case study, it's really important to note that the second uh, subject got uh, steroids when he was admitted to the hospital. So could that have helped? Absolutely. But they reported on these two people. And so it's actually pretty cool. So this is their cases. Now I'm just going to go down here. Of Once again, Stotts uh, proposed two mechanisms by which non-invasive uh, vagus nerve stimulation may help patients with COVID-19. One, it's going to dilate your bronchioles, bro dilate your lungs so that you can breathe easier. Two is activation of the cholinergic anti-inflammatory pathway, which upregulates certain cytokine or certain um, you know factors which regulate cytokine expression. So anyway, this is pretty basic. It's pretty short. This form of treatment has not yet been proven to treat cytokine storm. So this is not saying that it's been proven to, to treat cytokine storm, to fix COVID, but there's all kinds of things like this that are coming out now. I just saw another study that showed, showed that B6 could help ameliorate COVID-19 symptoms. So for those who are interested in the vagus nerve stimulation, I thought that this one was fascinating. It is not the end all be all. I am by no means suggesting that if you have COVID-19 that 
that you, that uh, trans cutaneous uh, vagal nerve stimulation is going to heal it, but there's very little risk involved with it. So I don't think, and this is not medical advice, but to me, if I had COVID, there's very, very little risk. So maybe it's something that I'm going to do on top of everything else uh, to try to boost my immune system and try to fight that virus. But I just thought that this was a really cool study, and I thought that some of you guys might appreciate it.